Besides trying to find the right couples to book, buying gear could be one of the most frustrating parts of starting or operating your current wedding film company. It seems like every single day there's a new piece of gear being thrown at us. And let's be honest, the creatives at these companies, they know exactly what they're doing because you feel like you have to purchase all this new gear in order to stay relevant in your current market. Now, the tripods I have, they're not cheap. They cost a lot of money. I use Manfrotto. I'm sure you've heard of them. If not, check them out. You're going to see they come with a high dollar sign. But when it comes to the way I film weddings, particularly during the prep section, capturing the details, I kept running into the same problem over and over, and it was starting to be a big When it comes to filming the details and a good amount of the venue shots, I like to use a slider. And I don't use a big one, I use a small one by a company called iFootage. Now you can use this one on a tabletop, or like I prefer to do, I use it on a tripod because then it'll double in length. This is where I'm running into an issue. The particular model I have from Manfrotto, they're ball head tripods. So when I'm sticking the slider on top of them and it's extending to one side or the other, it's just tilting. I'm using a Canon R6, no battery pack and a 35 millimeter prime lens. So it's not a very heavy setup, but for whatever reason, you know, I have to really crank down on the mechanism that keeps the ball head in place. But there's only so far I actually wanna crank on it because when you're talking about like a $500 tripod, not trying to break it for something like so i start researching for a new tripod because i'm not going to give up using a slider the way i like to film and what works for me like it's i'm just going to have to buy a new piece of gear to do what i needed to do so i'm looking at manfrotto because i like the build they're a quality brand i find one that's going to do the trick but it's like a thousand dollars and it's not even the most expensive one because you could spend thousands of dollars on a tripod so i almost pulled the trigger on the thousand dollar manfrotto tripod but then i'm scrolling through instagram and small rig comes across with an ad that they're releasing a new tripod it looks like it can do the job i need it to do and it only costs 179 dollars so i made the purchase during the pre-launch now i know i'm a little bit late to the game there's other videos out there about this tripod but none of them specifically had to do with weddings i wanted to field test it put it through a few weddings see if it does what i needed to do is it quality does it hold up is it worth you spending your money on here are my thoughts about it So this is like a perfect setup um, of what my main issue was when it came to using the Manfrotto. Anytime I would go from one side all the way to the other, the ball head on it would just completely tip. Didn't matter, you know, I'd have to crank it down to a point where it felt like I was gonna break it, but this one just, you know, really does the job nicely. I don't have any issues. All right, let's talk about it. When you buy this thing, it weighs a whopping 8.8 .8 pounds mildly heavy but honestly not that bad it has a max height of 74 inches or just under six foot two i'm 511 so you can see here that you know it's got a little bit of height over me it's got a max load of 17.6 pounds this thing can hold some weight so if you got like you know a red komodo and you're you're rigging it out whatever should be able to hold it no problem um, my favorite feature is this right here the base plate if you've owned any man manfrotto if you've owned any small rig products you know they like to hide the tools you need right inside if you're a new uh filmmaker and you're looking to get in the wedding industry and you're just kind of trying to put you know a gear list together that's going to not destroy your pocketbook this tripods definitely want to put in there um you don't want to go too cheap with tripods i've made that mistake before and they will break on you on the wedding day, especially if you're you're rough with them. Um, so it is better to just get a decent one. And for the price point, I mean, this this tripod feels like it's every bit of a five hundred plus dollar tripod. They could have definitely sold it for more money. I appreciate that they didn't um, because it really is just a great piece of equipment. Comes with its own bag to carry it in. Uh, if you want to and i am keeping it separate right now i do have like a huge like um tripod bag or case that all my other tripods and my light stands and stuff all go into but just because it's new right now i am using the separate bag uh but that's gonna do it if you haven't already subscribe to the channel if not fuck off